What's going on guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys some GTA 5 multiplayer. Now, GTA 5 multiplayer uh, just came out today, and this is going to be a short little video kind of giving you guys my sort of first impressions of the multiplayer component itself. Now, I understand a lot of people are having massive server issues. I've been having massive server issues uh, myself. In fact, in the beginning, when I first uh, downloaded it, I couldn't play online at all, and I've been talking with uh, with several people over in the UK and Europe that say that their online is still uh, not working properly. So different areas are getting the online um, to work at. Uh, they are getting the the working online component at different times. I think so. Depending on where you are in the world is really going to uh, affect whether you whether you'll have the ability to actually play online or not. And I'm pretty sure. The um, the e east coast of the U.S. is totally good to go now as far as online goes because that's where I am and the online works just fine for me. The only time I I've, the only time I've ever had anything not work properly in the online after it went live um, after it went live and got sort of fixed was a little bit of now well, I don't want to say slowdown I want to say just times where the multiplayer just wouldn't load a certain game mode, and that only happened once. So there there haven't been that many problems, but if you've been having problems with the online, what I found is a good thing to do is just turn your Xbox off for a while and come back, you know, come back in a certain amount of time. It doesn't matter, you know, you could give it 10 minutes, you could give it a half hour, you could even give it an hour if you want to. Come back and see if it's working for you. Now, I, I did that. And that's, after I left my Xbox off for a little while and I came back, the online worked fine for me. So it all depends on really where the, uh, really how the servers, how the servers are feeling about your area, basically, because if the servers are ready for your area, then you'll be good to go. But if they're not ready for your area, then you're going to have issues. So again, it all depends on uh, the server status and if Rockstar has actually made the servers uh, ready for your area. Now, on to my impressions of the actual gameplay in the multiplayer. It's, it's really fun. I had a blast with what I played, and there were plenty of people online to play with, so there's no, um, no issues there, but I had, an, I had an absolute blast playing online. Uh, the sessions that I actually did get to play in were really cool. Uh, everything went by, like, went by really quickly. The... The matchmaking system works really well. The game mode select system works really well. It's just very fast, very streamlined. You never get caught up in any complicated menus. Everything is always is always right there uh, in front of you, sort of letting you know, okay, this is what's next. This is what's next. You could, or you can do this, or you can do this. And as you can see, this is one of the uh, one of the later matches I played. And you can see the team is huge. We had a full match here, 16 players, uh, eight versus eight, and it was um, it was pretty intense. I mean, we had it was it was really cool having that many people uh, in the match at once. And the cool thing about it was uh, was it didn't lag. I'm 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 very very impressed with how even though they're having some overloading issues on on rock with Rockstar servers like even though Rockstar is having some server overload issues I'm surprised that they're able to keep the actual connection somewhat stable with this because honestly they have they have kept the connection really stable and with with no lag at all in these matches there there hasn't been I haven't encountered any bullet lag or any damage lag anything Anything lag related, really, I haven't encountered anything like that. So I'm really, again, like I said, quite impressed with what they've done with the multiplayer to prevent lag. Now, I was also able to get into a race, and you can see some of the online only cars uh, as I go through here. Some of these supercars, like, I mean, the Adder is not a, uh, isn't a, a multiplayer exclusive, but the, uh, the Koenigsegg lookalike, which I forget the name of, uh, is a multiplayer exclusive, I do believe, and there are other multiplayer exclusive cars that you can get a hold of um, through through um, basically buying them. And I'm not sure if there are other ways you can get them. I don't know if you can find them roaming around in the world online. I'm not sure on that one, 
but you can, I know all, well, what I do know about the multiplayer, having played it for a little while, is that you can add them to your, not only add them to your garage, but you can also, um, you can also tag them with GPS, and you can set it up so that if they get destroyed or stolen, you can actually get them back. You have to pay, but you can get them back. So, if you guys enjoyed my first impressions video of GTA uh, 5 online, don't forget to give me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you thought. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys later.